appreciated the reading of that attunement card. It's the spirit of the new earth is a strong force we feel. And there's a tendency to uh, seek to get it in hand. It's a bit, uh, made me think a bit of a spirit of force, where for a writer who isn't particularly skilled, uh, you know, it's just learning to write, I know how to feel it. Uh, there's this desire to slow the horse down so you can handle it. But when you're working, when the horse is, you have a working horse, like a cow horse or a cutting horse or a race horse, you don't want to break the spirit of the horse because you want that spirit. And you want to have you don't want to squeeze out the spirit of the new earth, the spirit of what will come up and through yourself, much less a horse that you're depending on to, to ride and to take you places quickly. And if it's a cutting horse, to turn on a dime. And with most cutting horses, um, it's quite an experience to ride them because if it's a real cutting horse, you just point the horse at the cow you want to take out of the herd. And the horse does most of the work. And if you're, um, there's no um, dishonor at some point to grab the saddle horn or the saddle. So that you don't end up going that way and the horse is going that way. And I think the uh, spirit of the new earth is a bit like that, where you're not going to, you lose it if you try and tame it down too much, or it will lose you, might be more accurate. If we don't have to, I think the problem we had sometimes is we have to have everything under control. Everything within um, within our uh, intellectual means of control. Not too fast, not too big a jump. And yet uh, where the creation is done is on the edge of the of the force. It's on the edge of where you have absolute control. Because if you have absolute control, you can have more of the same. I don't know about you, but I'm sure not interested in more of the same. And look around you. There's a world that's a product of more of the same. Um, and it's better in a way to take a little chance on expressing the spirit of a new earth and then having the diligence to sense the design, the control, the exact complementation to that spirit so that there is creation because I'm present. And in that, um, that experience, I kind of ask myself sometimes, well, what's new here? What's new? Is anything new? And if nothing's new, your spirited horse, this one, these capacities has turned into an old plow horse. I have nothing against plow horses, they're important. But they're not going to win a a quarter horse race, quarter mile race, or a couple of furlongs, furloughs, or furlongs, or they're not going to take you to where you need to go. And they're not going to translate 
what you as the rider, you as the person present, you as the person have come to have done. You're not going to translate into creation the spark of the spirit of the new earth. What's rising up and just almost grieving to be expressed. And it's like we sense the design, we sense the spirit that we've come to bring in our life, the destiny. And often, when, I don't know about you, but often I'll have a feeling about something. Well, I need to do this, I think. And if I hesitate and I'm not diligent in exploring that feeling, exploring that spirit, then I miss the timing of it. And when we miss the time, we lose it. We have to make it up. <clears throat> so there's a certain obedience and a certain diligence. But it isn't obedience to someone's code that they've drawn up for you, a series of commandments or laws or whatever. But it's more um, taking direction from the spirit that I am, the sensing of what's, what did I come to let be birthed on this earth? And that's, to me, that's what's called destiny. And that's the exciting part of life. That's what's called creation. It's like you come, you're a sculptor, you come to a block of stone. And you have the approach, you can have the approach, oh, here's a block of stone, what am I going to make out of it? Or here's a block of stone. What do I sense is within it? Here's my life. What do I sense would fill it out? Um, and it's like there's watching David uh, working with the bees, or you work, watch someone who has a little more equipment who's a beekeeper. And uh, they're, they're working with the hive and getting it to do certain things. But they're also providing something because that hive has a design. You don't change the design of a hive, basically. You might change the conditions a bit, but they're going to express according to that design that's innate in bees. There's an innate design in you, and there's an innate design in me. And the spirit of the new earth is what quickens that design. What gives it life? And we were talking about the uh, this morning. Someone mentioned the difference between an Italian family and an English family. <laughs> I've known some pretty wild Englishmen. <laughs> there is a general rule there. Um, so there's a design. People are basically the same but there's a spirit that brings a different expression, that brings creation. And that's where the diligence is needed. Sometimes we've been diligent about um, being a good uh, executive or uh, being the best uh, architect in the world. Depends whether you're uh, Whether you've been, you've harnessed your creation in that direction, or maybe you're the greatest chef, greatest cook in the world. And the other thing is, maybe you just really enjoy cooking. Maybe you just really enjoy watching a building take form from nothing. Because there, you can put a design on a piece of paper, and someone who's skilled can take that design, and there's a creation. And that creation is not going to happen out of a recipe book or off 
a book of plans that someone drew up. It's going to take form because the spirit of the new earth is moving through a person and this person and there's an obedience to that spirit. I think obedience is a great thing, but it's up to us to choose what we're obedient to. Are we obedient to the true design? It's like sharing in a tomb. There's a design to the tomb. And it's, it's like sometimes in sharing a one-on-one -on -one attunement view. Get to a certain place where, okay, we're doing the end of the tunnel. Get to the end of it. And, oh, where do we go from here? Sense there's something more needed. And there, to me, is where creation, creation lives. It lives in the endocrine tomb, but it lives in sensing, being obedient to that design, and sensing where it goes next. And that's exploration. And that's what I feel called to. And God bless the spirit of the new earth. Otherwise, where are you going to find your zip? <laughs> Thank you.